Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to teach the Pathfinder Spider Honor in a brand new way using interactive notebooks and stations. So join me for the next few minutes as I walk you through that process. The first thing we want to do is go to pathfinderstrong.weebly.com. When you get there, we'll want to hover over Honors and scroll down and click Spiders. At this page is the outline for teaching the honor. This honor uses interactive notebooks and stations. If you're not sure what an interactive notebook is, simply click the link and you will open up a Google Images gallery of examples of interactive notebooks, which you can quickly scroll down and get an idea. Each Pathfinder will be making or using an interactive notebook to complete this honor. A composition notebook or a simple spiral notebook would be perfect. The first button you'll see is the Spider Honor Requirements and Outline. When you open that, you will see a chart that outlines the honor requirements. There are 11. And how this specific lesson meets those requirements. So for example, you'll see that requirement 5 is met by doing station 3. Requirement 10 is met by watching the introduction video. This honor is broken up into three parts, part A, B, and C. Let's look at part A first. Part A is an introduction to spiders. In step one, pathfinders will fill out a KWL chart to reflect on what they already know about spiders, what they want to know about spiders, and then at the end, what they learned. If you click this green link here, it will pull up a KWL chart that you can print out. You'll want to have the pathfinders trim this and glue it into their interactive notebook. At the beginning, you'll fill in these first two columns, and then at the end of your teaching, you'll go back and fill in the last column. Next, step two, you'll want to have your Pathfinders view one of these following introduction videos. There's two from National Geographic and one from BBC, and these are all from YouTube. If you have trouble with internet in your meeting area, you'll want to download these videos in advance using a service such as keepvid.com, and here's a link to that right here. The next part of the honor, part B, is doing interactive stations. If you click this button, you will go to all the materials needed for the interactive stations. There are six, and Pathfinders will collaborate and work in pairs and rotate between them. Ahead of time, you'll want to print out the directions for each station and the materials they need, which I'll show you in a minute. You'll also want to purchase the Spider Bundle from Teachers Pay Teachers, which is only $12, for a 150-page PDF document. You'll want to divide your Pathfinders into groups so they can rotate through the stations and put an adult or a TLT staff member at each station to be a helper. Let's click here and look at the station materials. When you click there, a Google Drive folder will pop up with everything you need. The first document is, you see is the Spider Honor Requirements, which we looked at earlier. The second document is the Spider Bundle from Teachers Pay Teachers. You'll need several pages out of this that you'll want to print out and copy ahead of time. Let's go to station one. When you open each station, the first thing you'll see is a list of directions. This is the directions that the Pathfinders will follow while they do the station. This station is about spider eyes. The next page in the document is instructor notes that tells you the materials you'll need and also the requirements that this station need, meets. In this station, you'll want to print out these eye arrangement diagrams ahead of time, one copy for each Pathfinder. There are two pages. The next, you'll want to print out this spider eye arrangement chart, three pages for each Pathfinder, and they will want to trim these and glue them into their interactive notebook. What Pathfinders will be doing in this station is finding the family name of the spider, the genus name, the common name of the spider, and then the eye arrangement that goes with that spider. This meets the requirement for making a collection of spiders. The next thing you'll want to print out is this spider inventory so that Pathfinders can refer to it. This is a list of 20 different spiders, their family name, their genus name, and their common name, so that they can use this to fill out the chart we just talked about. The next thing, thing you'll want to print out, preferably in color, are these spider pictures. And you'll notice all these pictures are zoomed in heavily on the eyeballs of the spider. 
they're also labeled with a name. So for example, here we have the funnel, or excuse me, the grass spider. And you'll notice its eye arrangement is kind of a curved four eyeballs on the top and four on the bottom. Once again, this is the grass spider. So what the Pathfinders would do is look up here at this inventory list and find the grass spider. The grass spider is here number 13. Here's its family name, here's its genus name, and then here's its common name, also known as the funnel weavers. What Pathfinders would then do is go back to their chart, fill in that family name, the genus name, the common name, grass spider, and next they'll want to look for the eye arrangement. They'll want to scroll through their eye arrangement diagrams or look through them because they'll be printed out and find one that best matches the grass spider. If you'll remember from the picture, it was a curved set of eight eyeballs, four on the top and four on the bottom, which happens to be diagram 13. Pathfinders will use scissors, cut out this diagram, and then glue it into the eye arrangement box next to the other information. They'll need to do a total of 15 spiders and there are five per page. That's why they'll need three of these charts to go in their interactive notebook. Station two is about spider life cycle. Once again, we have the directions followed by the instructor notes. And then this is some snapshots of what the pages in the spider bundle look like that you'll need to get in print. You'll need a spider fact sheet about life cycle. You'll need the spider life cycle card and you'll also need this spider life cycle graphic organizer. You'll need one of these for each Pathfinder. They'll cut out this portion with the bubbles and glue it in their interactive notebook. They'll then cut out these four stages on the side and glue them in the correct order. They'll do this after looking at this chart and after reading the fact sheet. In the materials list in the instructor notes, it tells you exactly what page in the spider bundle that you need to print in order to do this station. Station three is about drawing spiders. Once again, we have the directions. We have the instructor notes with the pages that you'll need to print out from the spider bundle and the other things that you'll need to make copies of, and those are below. This is the spider web type sheet, which you'll need to print out and make copies of. This is a screenshot of what you'll be finding in the spider bundle, the read and answer about tarantula sheet, There'll also be some pictures and labeled diagrams of different kinds of spiders that Pathfinders will be drawing. You'll need to print that out as well. And once again, the page numbers for that are in the needed materials page. Station four is about our spiders insects. In this one, they'll read some information and then they're going to do a compare and contrast in a Venn diagram. Once again, we have the instructor notes with the pages from the bundle that you'll need to print out. This is a screenshot from the bundle of the read and answer. You'll need to print out one of these for each Pathfinder. You'll also need to print out one of these Venn diagrams for each Pathfinder. They'll glue this in their interactive notebook. They're comparing the differences between spiders and flies. Here we have 15 different characteristics of spiders and flies that are all mixed up. They'll want to cut out these 15 characteristics individually and then glue them in the correct part in the Venn diagram. They'll glue everything that is a characteristic of spiders on the left. Then they'll glue everything that's a characteristic of flies on the right. The characteristics they share will go in the middle. Station 5 is about spider appearance. Once again, we have the directions the instructor notes with needed materials, and the page numbers of the things you want to print in the spider bundle. This is a screenshot of the spider fact sheet that you'll need to print out of the spider bundle. This is a screenshot of the spider diagram that you'll need to print. You'll need to print one of these blank spider diagrams for each Pathfinder and they'll glue this in their interactive notebook. Once they've read the fact sheet and looked at the labeled diagram, They'll want to label this diagram on their own. Next, you'll want to print out several pages of these small cards. 
You'll probably want to print them on cardstock so they last a little better. On these cards, some of them are spider vocabulary words as seen here in this screenshot. Others are the definitions for these words. You'll want to cut them apart and make two to three sets of these cards. Put them in Ziploc baggies to keep them separated. At the end of the station, you'll want Pathfinders to sort these or match them. So they'll want to find the word arachnid and they'll also want to find the card that has the matching definition to the word arachnid and the same for the rest. Station 6 is about spiders in the Bible. You'll want to make sure each Pathfinder has a Bible for this station. You have the directions and also the instructor notes. In this station, Pathfinders will read several passages and then do some writing about it. Part C of this honor is summary and assessment. In step one, you'll want to have Pathfinders go back to their KWL chart and fill in this last column saying a couple things about what they learned about spiders. As an assessment or a quiz to see what they learned, I recommend playing the Spider Honor Quiz on the Kahoot online game service. If you're not familiar with Kahoot or how to use it, check out this tutorial video here from YouTube. Kahoot is an awesome way to engage kids, and I promise, once you try it, you'll be hooked. If you already know how to use Kahoot, just click this Spider Honor Quiz link, log in to your free account, and then get started. And that's the Spider Honor in a nutshell, using interactive notebooks and stations. I encourage you to give it a try, and then comment below and give me your feedback and let me know what you think. God bless you in your Pathfinder ministry, and as always, Stay Pathfinder strong. Mm -hmm.